Well, a little bit ago, I was just driving along minding my own business. I wasn't bothering nobody. And all of a sudden, I spotted something off the side of the road I thought I'd come and take a look at. And uh, here a while back, I posted a little video and uh, uh, showed a 1950 Studebaker convertible. And this is this, this is the guy that, that sold that. He, he also owns all this stuff. And he's got stuff all over the place. There's, a, there's some rusty... Uh, uh, stuff up there and he's got a big yard here south of town that I know about and the reason I discovered it uh, I was flying with my friend and, and I said look down there look at all that stuff and we flew over his yard and then up uh, where I was visiting that little town of Waterville and filming the, the stuff that's sitting around town and uh, Bob's place and all of Bob's stuff uh, this guy's got a yard up there too he's uh, he's in his 80s I think and he's got stuff just yards and yards of this eight and uh, doesn't sell very much once in a great while he sells a piece but uh, it's looking kind of like this one I'm wondering if there was a, a fire it looks like it was burned the seats at least look like it was burned and uh, yeah I think it's I think it got hot but boy what a monster what a big old monster two-door Cadillac convertible I'm not sure what year that is. I'd have to, I'd have to research it, look it up. I'm not a caddy man. I don't know offhand what it is, but boy, I tell you what, there's a lot of metal there. <laughs> I wonder. I bet that thing weighs as much as my truck. <laughs> it's a monster, but it's cool. It's just old iron, and it's pink. It was pink. The pink Cadillac. What a deal. I love those fins. I'm gonna get around here. And just get a shot of those fins. Boy, oh boy. Exhaust in the bumper. That's cool. But those fins, look at them. How cool is that? Yeah, boy. Some pink iron. <laughs> That's something like uh, Marilyn Monroe probably would have rode around in something like that. <laughs> 